TSV's Terra Life cover crop mixtures have been developed to break down soil between crop rotations and improve soil fertility and health. All mixtures include a proportion of quick growing species to effectively suppress weed growth. The range of species guarantees good biodiversity and maximum variation in root development to ensure good soil penetration. Today I'm standing in a field in Nottinghamshire looking at our Terra Life cover crop mixtures. This field has our deep rooting mixture, Wriggle DT. The previous crop in this field was uh, spring wheat. Once he'd um, harvested the um, wheat, uh, the farmer went through and lightly cultivated the soil and then strip tilled it. And then following that, he uh, put 30 kilos of nitrogen on it and some slug pellets. The farmer will leave it until uh, January, February time and then apply a glyphosate to ensure that the crop is killed and then spring beans will be drilled. Charles, so you're a local agronomist here in Nottinghamshire working for Pharmacy Hutchinson's. Um, what are the common challenges you face with this soil type here? The soil type here we've got is a very uh, heavy clay soil. Uh, and unfortunately in this area there's a huge problem with black grass. Because of black grass a lot of people are moving towards spring cropping um, and as a result of that people are facing huge challenges in trying to drill the land in the spring. What a cover crop can do is obviously with these fibrous roots is put some good drainage channels in, increase organic matter and good sources of carbon which can help the land be free of draining in the spring and hopefully be able to drill it a bit earlier as well as other benefits as well. Whereas if we look at this sample here, it's quite compact, quite firm, going to stand water very easily, going to act more like a sponge, whereas here um, it sort of breaks up very nicely due to the roots. One advantage of a cover crop mix can be weed suppression, especially if you could get an early established, vigorous, uh, good ground cover crop, uh, it suppresses a lot of autumn weeds. Terra Life mixes normally consist of seven or more components. We can see down here in this Rigol DT mix the phacelia, linseed, and this deep till radish. All of these components go to restructure the whole of the soil profile. This Rigol DT crop is very typical of Terra Life, producing a large amount of biomass above the ground and below the ground. We see the benefit in available N in the following crop, providing extra fertility and getting the crop established in a better way. This coupled with the tilth created from the varying root structures gives a perfect entry to your spring cereals or legumes. Securing nitrogen for the following crop by preventing leaching is one of the most important benefits of TerraLife. We see from this graph how much more nitrogen Terra Life catches against straight mustard, and crucially, how much more is available for the following crop. So, Michael, what is the advantage to a farmer for having a Terra Life cover crop mixture in their fields? The key thing is making the entry for the following crop easier, restructuring the soil, drying it out, and getting it ready, having the nutrients available for the following spring drill crop, whatever that may be.